Welcome back to Power Lunch for this Tuesday, everybody. I'm Bill Griffith. Coming up over this next hour, we'll continue to follow the markets on this Tuesday as everybody waits to hear what the Federal Reserve is going to do. So far, a quiet day for the stock market. Bob Pisani will be back from the New York Stock Exchange to update us in just a few moments. And in the wake of the recent collapse of the long-term capital management hedge fund, regulators in Washington are taking a closer look at the inherent risk of these kinds of funds and, more importantly, their impact on financial markets. We will be talking with the chief investment strategist with the Hennessy Hedge Fund Advisory Group about that very important issue coming up. We'll come back. We'll talk what's with these hedge funds and what do you and I need to know as individual investors, even if we aren't invested in them, of the kind of risk they pose to the financial markets overall. We'll talk about that when we come back on Power Lunch after this. Everybody's talking about this rescue of this uh, hedge fund called long-term capital management. Uh, as many banks and brokerage houses come together to provide $3.6 billion of capital to rescue this thing. Now on Capitol Hill, they want to talk about it. They're talking about it on Wall Street. Individual investors want to know, what does this mean to me? Joining us to talk about it is Charles uh, Gradante. He's the chief investment strategist at the Hennessy Hedge Fund Advisory Group. He joins us today from New York City. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Oh, it's nice to be here, Bill. Given the size of, of this, uh, the exposure, the, the, the leverage involved and the size of their exposure, what would have happened? Have you been able to figure that out yet? If they had allowed LTCM to go under, what would have happened to the financial markets? Well, it's, it's, it's hard to, uh, to f make a statement about that. I mean, the, the, the creditors right now are trying to figure out what their risks really are. But it's safe to say there would have been a systemic shock of some sort because whenever you do a dumping of portfolios to, to meet margin calls, uh, there is a rippling effect on the bid side of trades and uh, that is not very good for the marketplace. So right now, you know, the, the credit is kind of tight going into long-term capital's right. uh, situation, and it would have tightened uh, even further. Now, of course, the talk is that there may be other hedge funds out there. They're starting to name names. Uh, of other funds that may have similar problems. How big could this become, do you think? I mean, it's obviously nobody knows, but what is your sense of all of this? Well, the, the, I think the, the focus right now is, is uh, in the bond arbitrage area, especially the bond convergence traders, uh, which cover a full spectrum of convertibles, corporates, and mortgage backs. Um, they um, use more leverage uh, than your typical long short equity hedge fund. Right. And uh, it's very possible that we could see some carnage there if the liquidation of the long-term capital portfolio re results in further credit spread widening or there's another major shock in Brazil, China, whatever that causes a flight to quality like we had in August. So um, there are some, some issues right now. One uh, hedge fund reported uh, yeah. being down 20% for the month of September, and that was a bond arbitrage fund. Quick, quickly, did we learn nothing from the, de the derivatives debacle of 1990? Have we learned nothing? Um, I don't think that is the, the... The question is, has the banking system learned uh, the lesson they should have learned? You know, in the 80s, uh, we had a real estate problem that was uh, evaluated by Congress, and they concluded that although the real estate developers were kind of aggressive... Right. Uh, well, I mean, it, the, the, the line coming from people who got involved in the derivatives was in, in 94 was they didn't understand the risk involved, and that's what we're hearing from well, the banks I, this time around. It's I, the same I, story. Well, that's, that, that's exactly the, the point. Okay, uh, the banks, uh, uh, their risk management control is, is at question. And yeah. possibly they were using a star system here like they did with Donald Trump in real estate, right. um, lending money uh, with relaxed credit standards. This, the, the, the issue here is the lending practices that went on with long-term capital. Granted, long-term capital's business model was, was not uh, an appropriate model for this market, but they should not have received the kind of credit extension that they received. Right. Mr. Granante, good to see you. Thanks for joining us Well, today. thank you. Wish I had more time. This is an important issue. Charles Granante, uh, Chief Investment Strategist with the Hennessy Hedge Fund Advisor Group. We're going to be talking about this for weeks to come, I guarantee. We'll be back with more Power Lunch in just a moment. Stick around.